thank you Hi. for being here. Hey, we, we work together. We work together yeah, so nice much nice in the book arts again. room. How are you? Good. How are you? I love well, the art you. school shirt. Thank you. This was actually printed here in the facilities using uh, silk screen, which I assume so students will soon show you guys. Yeah. So you can take any kind of approach to printing, and yeah. we can totally facilitate that. Over Amazing. Here. Um, so I know you've been you 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 studied fine arts at Parsons, right? And right. now you're a technician here, which is awesome. So, like, talk to me about some of the I don't know what. Like, let's do the Vandercook. Let's do the Vandercook. Awesome. Let's lead up to the Vandercook. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, if we were to look at the Vandercook, the Vandercook is basically a relief press, mm -hmm. which means that it can print any kind of. Um, substrate into which you can carve to create your image and control the ink and the impression that will only go on the top layer of your matrix. I know this sounds like a lot, but here I have some examples to make it a little clearer. These were actually printed in the book arts room, uh, where we have smaller presses that can print uh, tiny forms. So this oh, matrix, which is covered with silver ink, can create these prints. And these are just process blocks that I made for you to explain how this kind of form is created. You right. start off with a block that's uh -huh. completely smooth and just do your drawing on top of it. Okay. Then using a carving tool, which is basically a blade right. that is bent, you can remove elements mm. from your block in order to create a stamp. So everything that you remove from the block will end up being the paper. Amazing. Then once everything is removed, you ink up your form and print it. Using, right. You can do it by hand, but right, also right, you can right. use presses that we have upstairs in the book arts room to create very high precision marks. Right. Other things that we have upstairs that are small versions of what we have here mm -hmm. are type. So uh, type is basically so just nice. small relief forms right. that you can organize and create whatever it is that you want to write. This is how newspapers and books used to be printed right. back in the day, uh, invented by Gutenberg, and we are continuing the tradition. So what we're going to be seeing today with the it, Vandercook, it's cute, right? So, cute. <laughs> so today we're going to be seeing with the Vandercook a bigger version of this. Basically, what we have here is a matrix image that was carved out of wood. Mm -hmm. uh, so I basically just drew this and carved it out. All right. And all the wood type is taken from fonts that we have right over here. Mm -hmm. All these pieces are full of ancient type that we are still using today. So. Nice. so we are trying to keep everything here in great condition because this is barely manufactured anymore and it's hard to come by, right. so it's hard. Right. We want to keep it so that the students have the ability to experiment with mm -hmm. old school graphic design processes. This is how everything started. And when you hear of something like leading. Yeah. Anyway, so the way that this press works is the elevated surface is what's going to receive the ink. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn on the motor here, okay. so it's going to get a little bit louder. And when we do this, this starts spinning, and these rollers all have ink on them. When I move the rollers across my form, you're inking up, right? Gets inked up, and I can go back and forth, put as much ink as I want on it. Now this cylinder is what's going to control my impression. This is where paper comes in. So you have your paper up here on a B board. I push this lever down with my foot to make these little grippers raise, mm -hmm. and it keeps my paper in place. And then are we ready to print? Oh. Let's go. the very important thing about printmaking, everything you do is going to happen in reverse. Right. So if you want to carve out your type, you have to carve right. it out in reverse because what you're going to end up getting is a mirror image. Yeah, I uh, definitely made that mistake one or two times. We all did.